<coughs> right now putting anything flat pack together is always going to be a laugh but uh, not to worry I've got the dog with me to give me a hand so what we're building get out of the way is I'll zoom you in that's what we're building so how straightforward should that be we'll find out right get your nostrils out of it get out of it Right, <laughs> there's the instructions, there's the instructions, we'll read them if we need them, I think we're going to need them. So that's what we should have, do we check what we should have, I think we better check what we should have. Nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts, spanners, two allen keys, Plastic fittings. That's them then. Right. <clears throat> Let me get out of it. So that's our first instruction. So we're using the E's, E1, E, and that's a square. There was no squares, was there? But there was an O. So there's the first bungle. That's definitely a square, not an O. But we have got some O's somewhere. Here we go. O. So we know the E's, these are the E's. So this fixes the squares or the O's, fix the two E's together. But look at that, that goes along the, from the same place on E1 to the same place on E2, that's diagonal, is that a blunder, well we'll see in a minute, also I don't like the fact that if this is to scale, O oh, is longer than E. And that's not the case here, is it? So, uh, we're off to a brilliant start. Well, all you can do, we haven't, unless these, they, that's definitely C, that's definitely C, that's N, that's the other O. There's the ends, which oh, this looks more in scale, doesn't it? That looks that is to a different scale. That is to a different scale than that is. This is my experience with flat packs. Is the instructions are so poorly put together that you don't know whether you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. This is why you have uh, YouTube videos. Right, so anyway, let's not worry too much. Let's make a start, and if it doesn't work, we can always take it to pieces, can't we? So that's E. Get, get out of the way. So that's E. So E goes there. Now, are these symmetrical? Come out of the way. Come out of the way, because you're not helping. In fact, you've mucked up the plans now. Perhaps it wasn't a good idea to cut the grass and then start, because I've got grass cuttings all over the place and I've got an open knife there as well. Right, um, E1 then. Is this E1? Or is this, that's E, so this must be E1. Yes, this is E1. So E1, so we start at the back on E1, 
So what is the back? What is the back? What is the front? I don't know. Okay, so there is only one way these can go because these must go. These are the only ones with these lugs on them. So them lugs must go in there. So perhaps at the end of the day it is idiot proof but you've just given a poor set of plans to go with. But I always find this. Right, I'm not going to tighten these up, I'm just going to... I'm just going to do them up snug but not tight. Jess, Jess, drop that, drop it. Just get your ball, where's your ball? I'm going to play with something, play with your ball. Right, that'll go there, that'll go there. So step one. So if I put that like that, this is marked E. This is marked E. But on the diagram it's E1 and the other one's E on the diagram. Somebody needs a clip round the head. They really do. Right. Step two then. Step two. Step two is these things marked Q. These things marked Q. And we put strut N between. This is strut N. So that goes in there. There's only one way around this can go and in there. So what screws do I fix them with? Is that a D? No, S. S, S. And they are in fact screws, they're not uh, They are screws. So straight in there. This is just screwing straight into the plastic insert. I'll nip these up reasonably tight. I am hoping these are all the same. They look all the same. Doesn't say anything on here, so they must be all the same. So, <clears throat> in between preparing for my um, holiday expedition and a little bit of work, still got a bit of work to do yet at work. We've got to do a few little house jobs as well. This is one of them. Quite a few in fact. Right. That's that one. Right. That's these two done then. So what do we do with these two? They swing off this bolt here and this bolt here. On the short end. So the fit on there. Swing. So there's a grommet. Spacer or a grommet or whatever you want to call it. And that'll be these. It's L. L is these big things. So there's the bearings there and they just push straight in to the bearing. Push fit. 
Well, that's not a very good push fit. <laughs> that's that just. That's not a very tight fit. Bit of uh, quality control there uh, needed. Right, top bit. That's a tight, tight fit. Tight fit, and they're secured. So they'll swing on there like that. I know what I'm doing, honest. Right. How oh, are they secured? With a pin P. P, these these are D, we've got D, then we've got H and L. H and L, H is a H and L, H and L. It's gotta be wrong. Alright, uh, L's a plastic nut you put over over the normal nut later. You won't worry about them. Right, uh, so that's H, H are the nuts, doesn't say anything about washers but presumably with every nut comes a washer, doesn't say anything about washers, what's L, L's, these are L, where's the washers? Washers. They are nut and washer. A nut and washer is H. So H is a nut and a washer. Right. Oh, we've got a, we've got a spanner as well. You see that? We've got a spanner in here. I, I just don't want to break them all out and them all go all over the place because the moment I keep checking I want P. P is this one here, quite a long one. Right, so that's P. So that's P. P, 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 and P. So, right, <clears throat> what we must do here, do that, like that, do that. Oops, we missed. Oh yeah, like that. A washer and a nut, and one small on these. Now I'm just I'm not going to do them up in case I've got it wrong, and I find out later I've done it wrong, and I have to take it to pieces again because according. I could be wrong, the diagrams could be wrong. If the diagrams are wrong, then the first one's not the scale. E's called E1 and E1's called E because of the way these brackets go. So it could be, it could be that I'm wrong, of course. Sometimes I am. Quite often I am. Uh, put that through there. Sometimes you've just got to do what you think's right without permanently doing anything, knowing that if you are wrong you can take it to pieces and start again. While whilst your brain figures it all out, because the instructions certainly aren't helping. So we're on to step four now. And it's telling me that the 
back of the chair is part B, so we want the back of the chair. I'm, I'm trying not to hang about doing this because I have too many jobs to do. Right, uh, what it's doing is telling me step four, I'm on to step four, install the part B, which appears to be the ch chair back itself, onto the part A. Please ensure the part I, or L, I I think, the part I, please ensure the part I placed in the middle of part B and A. And the diagram is not really a great deal of help. If you could just tell me what we're doing, if you could just tell me what, what we're doing from <laughs> from that. I think I know what we're doing. The battery's running out anyway. I'm going to have to get a new battery. <clears throat> right, so I'm back now with a new battery, which is the battery I got with the camera, but I bought a few cheap batteries. And uh, although they worked fine for the first year or so, they're not very good now. Right, uh, so we're taking the chair back out seat and back of the chair which according to the plan is called B but I don't see any B stuck on it anywhere and now we're connecting to it A A which this is A And I've got to figure out the orientation. So first of all, the big squares at the bottom. So the big squares at the bottom, the little squares at the top, uh, seat of the chair, seat of the chair goes along here, back of the chair comes up here. What is this? This side of the chair or that side of the chair? Well, let's open the chair out. There we go, the chair opens out. Oh, so it has got, the chair has got B on it. The chair has got B on it. And this, did this have A or A1 on it? No, I can't remember. Can't remember, can't find it. I knocked it off. Well, let's just try and figure it out, shall we? Um, if this was like this, this would be A1. What does it say on it? I must have knocked it off because oh, it was on the it was on the package, wasn't it? It was on the packaging. This is A1. So if this is A1, then it goes this side of the chair. So it must go in this orientation. So how do we fix it? Um, with bolts. F I H. F I H. H is a nut with a washer. I get out of it. Will you get out of it? Get out of it. Get out of it. Get. I is one of these spaces. So a spacer comes into play. And what's the nut? Get. Get out of it. Trying to do this fairly rapidly. Um, I'm lost now. This hole, I don't think this hole has been, it's coming out at an angle like that instead of going straight up. Shoddy workmanship, I think. really 
lining up. Because this one's going straight down and that one's coming out at a, an angle, the hole hasn't been drilled. It's no good cross threading it. Right, let's check this one off. Turn that one off. Line this one up. Because the other one's only a single bolt, whereas this is two. I've got it cross threaded now. I've cross threaded it. There we go. make sure there will in fact thread in that I haven't destroyed the thread. Okay it will thread in haven't destroyed the thread. going to be a bit of bending involved here because this this hole has not been drilled it, it's coming out at a, a severe angle coming out at about that angle These Allen keys, these Allen keys, if you put any, oh, okay. if you put too much pressure on them they just pop out because they don't really fit. See that, that one, that one spins round in there, spins round, spins round in there, spins round. goes in easy enough, it goes in easy enough when you've got it straight. I may just have to get a drill and move this hole over just a little. But well, that's risking I've got this right. Right, that's that's that. Now see how that's lifted up there. See how that goes nowhere near. See the clearance there. It's not sitting flush. Now I'm just going to bend that down a touch. It's 
so now I have to bend this down to get it in. This is not good. This is not lining up with the second hole. There we go. Right, so a little bit of bending was necessary there because the hole wasn't drilled in the right place. Uh, I would say you get what you pay for, but I know how much uh, these these cost. Right. Let's just nip that up just a touch because it's, it's out the true. We'll just bring it in the true just a bit. I don't, I don't like nipping all the nuts up before the thing's finished because. It locks in the discrepancies and then you can't fit the other bits later. Like this this might this might now be tilted down this way but we'll see. Right, uh, now then. I'd, from the instructions it's not clear. In fact it suggests I'm going to put the other side on. I'm going to put the other side on and then I'm going to risk not being able to fit it onto the frame, but we'll see. I'm going to put the other side on. Right, there's quite a bit of play in that, but that's all it can be expected. Isn't it? Uh, right, so which way around does this go? Not that way around, that way around. Is it that way around? Okay, well that one went in all right. That one went in how it should have gone in. A nut in the washer. Now then what I don't like is, on the diagram, it showed you you're putting one arm on and then the, on the next diagram it still only had there that's where the dog's been walking on it mucked it all up uh, so it showed you only one arm on and then it showed you introducing the base <sighs> and this, this, that's the last lot of instructions Still got these two bars left yet, which are these C. Where does C go? I'm uh, <coughs> I'm also against the weather here. I can feel I can feel it changing. Coolness. I can't see anything down there. You just got to guess this. You just move it backwards and forwards. You can't. That it. That's it. Won't tighten these up because I still have to move the other side. I have to do the other side. Throw it over and go the other side. You see, see how it's bended out of shape because that one bolt wasn't. Drilled at 90 degrees. Will you get out of it? Get out of it. Get out of it. Go and amuse yourself for a bit. Go on. Okay, so this is going to be a... Jess, get over there. Send your in in a minute. Go on. 
This is going to be a tremendously boring video for anybody other than somebody who's purchased one of these chairs. So, tell you that now for nothing. Right now, I don't know whether I should have done this because I don't know now whether I can get it on the base or not. <sighs> All we can do is give it a go, isn't it? What happens is you turn around and you find out that recording has been stopped automatically. No excuse given. Right, so we've got this face in the right way, that's the front and this is the back. These are the rockers that make the chair rock. Hey, you'll be rocking in a minute. Get out of there. Get out. No. Out of it. Get out of it. So this, there's, there's four big bolts left and those big bolts go through there. So. Have a look. D, we need these four plastic spaces on. First. We're lucky at the moment, it's raining on most every other part of the country, but we're scheduled to get it. <coughs> we're scheduled to get it uh, for dinner time. So I want to get this finished. Right, now. <coughs> It doesn't give you any indication, it, well it gives you an indication that uh, I should have left this chair in half and put it on in half and the, I don't know, we're going to see now anyway, there's no instructions now where to get to the, how to get to the assembled chair so we just got to, we just got to look at it. So those are obviously I think that'll do it. We can get it on at that. Right, let's try and get these on. Last four bolts. Right, I'm not even going to put the nut on that. I'm going to do the one at the opposite corner. Right, I'm just going to start putting the, I've got two more nuts to go on with washers and then I'm going to start nipping them up. I've got two nuts left, two washers left. I've actually got a spare washer. I don't believe it, I've got a spare washer. Unless I forgot to put a washer on somewhere. Could have done. Right, I forgot to put a washer on. Right, so I'm just tightening up the nuts and bolts now. 
I'll just have to go around it all and uh, make sure it's all tightened up. It looks. I'm going to. Well, I'm going to sit on it in a minute just to make sure it's actually put together right. But I just want to nip these up a little bit first. Right, so that was just a quick unscheduled video on something I had to get done and I thought, based on my experience with flat pack construction, uh, would have been worth a laugh. But as it was, it did go together with very minor difficulties, really easily and straightforward. Uh, I, don't re I don't reckon much to the instructions, but you know, it, you never get good instructions, do you? So you've got to expect these things. So there we go. I've got to get it off to its uh, off to its owner now. <laughs> and uh, I'll catch you in a few days or so with something bushier. Right, I've just got to put on the. Uh, the caps to the bolts and the screws that's it I'll get it in before it rains I've just got finished in time it's gonna pour down it's get it's got a lot cooler a lot of sky passing over